Hello programmers, welcome or welcome back to Programming Kids. My name is Lynn and today we are going to learn about variables. Variables are used to store information in. But in order to name something, you have to follow some rules. One, it's gonna start with number. Two, it, sh it should have no spaces. You can use an underscore instead. Three, it should not include any symbols such as these. Four, it should contain lowercase letters. Five, it cannot be a data type, example string, tuple, or whatever. Because for example, if you use tuple is equal to subscribe, it will give you an error because data types cannot be used as variables. Python uses dynamic typing, meaning you can reassign variables to, dif to different data types. This makes Python very flexible in assigning data types and it differs from other languages that are statically typed. Now there are pros and cons of dynamic typing. The pros is that it's very easy to work with and it's, it's a faster development time. It will be less time consuming for you. The cons of dynamic typing is that it may result in unexpected bugs and you need to be aware of the type. Now, in order to assign variables, you need to use a single equal sign, which is an assignment operator. Further on in the video, we're going to use the type function, which will give you the ability to see what data type this variable is. So what are we waiting for? Let's explore these concepts on our Jupyter Notebook. So here I am on my Jupyter Notebook and we are going to start using our variable concepts that we learned. So for example, let me assign A as a number. Hmm. What do you guys think A should be? How about 10? So 10. So yeah. We have a this is my variable and it's storing inside a 10 so let's run this and let's check what is a 10 hmm. how about wait i changed my mind i want to do a as 15 now let's try running it. a 15 so basically i am reassigning and this is dynamic typing it's really flexible and it's really okay next we are going to try to do a plus oh sorry a plus a 30 you might be wondering what just happened well I said last time that a is 15. So what Python did was added 15 plus 15, which is 30. Let's try a times a. 225, that was really quick and it's really smart. How about a division sign? What, what will happen if I divide a by a? Let's see a divided by a 1.0 that's correct hmm how about we try our oh let's try our percentage sign which is our mod sign we're gonna try that so let's see if there's any remainders in this zero remainders that is absolutely correct python is very smart now let's try to type a is equal to 0.5 and let's run this now let's check again perfect now i want to know what type is a like what so what's the type so let's do this and inside it i'll put the a and run it's a float in our last video we learned about all data types so this is right because it's includes a decimal point now let's say i want to reassign it again and this time this is my 
value. Let's run it. One, two, three. Okay, but what's the type again? Let's check. A. It's integer. Correct. Let's try A is equal to subscribe. With quotations and brackets. All right, let's run. A, subscribe. Let's try, check the type. String, that's right. Now that we have practiced naming our variables, let me give you an exercise. So I want to calculate my taxes, like my total taxes per month. So let's say my income is a hundred and my tax my tax is 0 0.1 basically 10 percent so yeah and i want to find my total so how can I find my total if I have these two? You're going to have to multiply my income by my tax. So now let's see what's my total. And it's 10.0 because what Python did is multiply 100 by 0 0.1. You can also do this. One hundred multiplied by 0 0.1 is 10, meaning that Python is correct. So guys, that's it for this video. I hope you guys in understood variables and their usage. If you have any questions, make sure to comment that down below and I'll be happy to answer you. Make sure to like and subscribe to join our family. Turn the notification bell to get notified every time we upload a new video. Keep programming and I'll see you guys next time on Programming Kids. Bye for now.